Hello and welcome. My name is Julian Lannister. For today, I want to take a look at the Midsummer Festival. This is the new event that was recently released, um, and I think people are really enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. Um, they're doing pretty well with it. So let's take a look. All right, we got the wolf head, and we're there. All right, so. First things first, you have this golden cup of wine page where it's basically going for a month. You get new bonus things whenever you sign in. I think this is very similar to the sign-in events around Kravras and uh, Gorel um, when they had those. I'm a really big fan of this. It's just nice to get a reward every day. It makes it exciting, fun to log in. Um, a lot like the Iron Bank, but obviously this is free and for everyone. And these rewards are really, really good. Getting these SS medals, Getting S medals is pretty good. The elite tokens, the epic tokens. I mean, there's some good stuff in there. 200 books of wisdom. I mean, there's definitely some nice rewards in here. And again, just for signing in. Now, we already finished the arrow event. Um, that's what I call it, the hunting festival. Um, that's the one where you kind of shoot the arrows at targets. Um, you know, it's obviously just you know, simulated, but you can buy extra arrows. It's a paid event, um, but you can buy them with uh, gold dragons and diamonds to a certain extent. Um, but the event that we have up right now is one of my favorites. It is the resource collection event. I want to quickly explain how this event works. So I'm sure I will claim those. All right, so the way this event works, um, there are three different ways for you to get basic just resources or supplies. You can spend 600 minutes of speed ups, which is the equivalent to 10 hours. You can spend 800 motivation, um, basically every 800 motivation that you use on a rebel leader that counts as one, and then for every 500 diamonds that you spend. So those are the base three, motivation, speed ups, and diamonds. Now, the other thing you can do are these quests. If you destroy a rebel camp twice, if you challenge the training camp grounds five times, gathering resources, all those will give you bonus supplies and it tells you how much here. Um, and that's the other way you can get these supplies. So what do these supplies do? Well, once you claim them like I did, you can then donate the resources. When you donate them, you have the chance to get one of these rewards. Um, they're pretty like mediocre rewards. I guess the three hour um, research speed up is the most speed up you can get. Um, Gold dragons of 200,000 is pretty decent, but for the most part, they're pretty mediocre results. That's not why people do this. So um, when you donate resources, it goes to like a big group fund that you and the rest of your kingdom are working on. So as you can see, we already got the first tier at 4,000, which was 10 S medals and 600 diamonds. Our next group, which we actually just earned, is another 10 S medals and, six, and now 800 diamonds. Sorry, so I'll claim that. Sweet. And then once we get to 1700, we will get five SS medals and a thousand diamonds. It's pretty nice. I like getting those SS medals. Now, the other piece of this event is the rankings. If you go here, you can see that everyone in the kingdom is ranked, and based on how you do in your ranking, you get different rewards. So, as you can see, if you are in first place, who Chari M right now is in first with 612 donations, they will be getting 30 SS medals, 50 S medals, and then I think that's three, two million golds, so that's six million gold. And they get this frame, but no one cares about the frame. Um, next one down, 25, 40, and then four million, then all the way down to 20 SS medals, 30 S medals, and then just one of those, so that would be uh, Two, uh, sorry, that's three 600,000s, so uh, forgive me, that would be 1,800 um, million gold. Anyway, um, the main focus is the S and SS medals, though, obviously. So if you go down to fourth, which is where I am right now, unfortunately, at 300 resources, I'm only getting 15 SS medals. Uh, again, getting 30 of the S, and then the same 1.8 million gold. My main 
thing that I wanted to show with this is, first of all, it is awesome that everyone is getting so many SS medals. I love that they're giving this many away. It is really great, and it's nice that it's free. This is a totally free event. Um, obviously paid, you're going to get more diamonds, more speed ups. It's going to be easier, but it is technically free. Now, when you get outside the top 10, it goes down to 12 SS medals and 25 S. And then if you go all the way down to 50, if the game will let me, a little slow. One more. Okay, perfect. And then, okay, there we go. Now we're in the 50s. Now we can see that you go down to 10, 20, and then just 200,000 gold. Here's what I'm going to say about this. I think the difference between 51 and 50 is very, very little. Two SS medals, five S medals, like that's not a whole lot, not an appreciable amount. And it might be a big gap between 51 and frankly 11. Now, if you can get into the top 10, that's like better for sure. You're getting up to 20, um, or sorry, you're getting up to 15, which is definitely better than 10, don't get me wrong. But I still think it's not a huge improvement. To me, where it becomes worth it is if you can get into the top three. If you're one of these top three getting either 30, 25, or 20, that's that's a big, I mean, that's another tier that you're able to improve one of your SS commanders by. So that's big. Um, and you're getting a big bump on the S medals. So I think if you can get to the top three, definitely worth it. If not, definitely less worth it. Now, returning to this event, how do you best get... Um, the most resources. Well, I mean, it depends how much of each of these you have. If you have a lot of speed ups, you can just spam speed ups, do, you know, 200, 300 days of speeds. It's probably going to get you pretty far up there, right? Um, similarly, if you have a ton of motivation, you can use that. That's going to get you pretty far up there. I would say that motivation is probably the hardest way to really grind it. I mean, if you think that 800 for one, um, that's, that's a lot of motivation. I mean, that's yeah, that's, uh, I would say, every hit on a level 4 leader, about 2 motivation probably, or 2, sorry, 1600 motivation, so 2 of these resources, so uh, if you take 2 shots to kill a level 4, that's 4 resources for every level 4, um, so basically you would need to kill, like, you know, to get to 200 level 4s, you gotta kill, or 200 resources, you gotta kill 50 level 4s, which I think... When you think about it like that, you realize, okay, that's that's a ton. Um, whereas, you know, that in speed up days is is not not that many. That would be uh, five hundred hours. Um, Was that around forty days? Just sounds much more doable, I think, for most people. Um, some of the diamonds. I mean, if you've got two hundred thousand diamonds that you can spend on the compasses, then great. Then that's going to get you a bunch of you know resources or supplies whatever so it, it depends on what you have but i would say that the diamonds if you have a ton of diamonds that's an easy way to do it um if you have a ton of speed ups that's an easy way to do it but if you can get in the top three it's definitely worth it if not probably a little bit less if you're kind of willing to just um, phone it in i would definitely try to make sure you're in the top 100 anywhere in that top 50 to 100 category is getting 10 ss medals which is huge um, that is a lot, so I would just make sure that you're at least in that category. But I'm really looking forward to our events at four days away, um, and then there's another one at seven. I'm assuming that at least one of those is probably like a, you know, Lord of Lords or something like that, because they often will do that. Um, actually, when is CCS? It might very well be that that's just CCS. Uh, four days, 14 hours, that looks like that might be at. Yeah, I'm thinking the four days, that's probably one of those is CCS, um, which is a little boring, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, um, excited about these different events. They're a lot of fun, often giving really good rewards. Make sure you claim each of these every day, and make sure you claim the ones on the side. We just reached the two-week mark, um, so... Hopefully at the end, we'll all have the Sack of Winterfell album opened, and we'll have 15, uh, sorry, we'll have, not even just 15, we'll have 30 extra elite uh, epic tokens, 
um, and 10 more SS medals. So definitely lots of good stuff to get here. Hope you guys all are enjoying this event as much as I am. And until next time, this is Tyrion Lannister. Have a great rest of your day, and see you next time.